Unbelievable. More Air Force planes likely to crash. Retired Air Commando Balogu reveals. He reveals a very dark side of things of what is currently happening. He's saying, listen guys, you may think that one thing has happened and that is enough. Listen, let me tell you, there is more to happen if something is not done to change what is happening now. More planes will come down. Remember last week, Friday, we saw the chief of army staff alongside other senior military personnel in the army go down in what we call a crash, plane crash. And it's so sad that the president of the country could not associate with them, go for the funeral, not the vice president. And the presidency was stupid enough to issue a statement saying that President Muhammad Buhari could not attend because he was not given ample notice. And the question is, people died on Friday because they are Muslims, they have to be buried on Saturday. So they should have informed you by Monday of that week, we will die on Friday. And I know that uh, according to the Muslim, Muslim right, for those that are Muslims, it has to be on the Saturday. Then he said, okay, let's start putting security details in place. That's how it works, right? Nigeria, God help us. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you. More Air Force planes likely to crash. Retire Air, Air Commando Balogun reveals all. Veteran fighter pilot Air Commando Adeyomi Balogun has said that with the increase in military combat due to the war against terrorism, more plane crash involving the military are likely to happen. Reacting to the plane crash that happened a few days ago in Kaduna Airport, in which the Chief of Army Staff Lieutenant General Ibrahim died alongside three other generals and seven others, Balogun, who appeared on Arise News Morning Show, said the results of the investigation into the plane will likely remain a secret, only known to Nigerian military and the government. Did you hear that? Why are they keeping it secret? The secret expert who, before retirement, logged in more than 2,500 flying hours, said, because the country is at war, if the report of the investigation into the crash is released, the enemies of the country would take advantage of it. I served in the Air Force for 33 years and know what we are going through. So when people comes with different, come up with different claim that the aircraft crashed because of this reason or that reason, right now is based on assumption. The cause of the accident will be determined by the Accident Investigation Bureau. Looking into it for some of us, we have experience in the field. We can put one and two together and say there are likely going to happen much more planes coming down. However, the final report will come from the AB, which is a civil agency. Generally, the cause of air accidents are the aircraft error, human factor, the fact of God which are unseen circumstances beyond our control of the pilot and the last one in every possible societal tendency fortunately we don't have courses for societal pilots in nigeria however we pray so hard not to have aircraft crashes especially by those of the military it is a fact that we will live with and we surely had as long as we fly look at especially because of the challenges we are we have ahead of us there is no time in our country like what we have today what we are experiencing is unimaginable and if things are not changed more aircraft are likely to come down anytime soon hello my wonderful people that is it uh former uh, military military personnel who was also working in the um, air, area said it's likely that more aircraft might be coming down. Very likely. Very likely. If something is not done immediately to save the cost of, of the narration, that is likely that more aircraft may come down. 
and our people need to get on top of it and do the right thing. You know, because what is happening currently now is that the aircraft, I mean, we mentioned some things that could possibly could possibly happen. You know, human error, the God factor. Uh, also, don't forget that there are insurgents and the rest and the rest and the rest. And it said the inquiry into this very investigation of what has happened will not be made public. It will be concealed. Or for only those that need to know about it will know about it. So... This is rather what is happening, and um, Nigerians are watching with intense, uh, you know, proposition to re and we're wondering what is happening next and where do we go from here. Because if you look at all that is going on, you know that um, there is something really not right. Okay, there is something not right. We cannot keep our hands, pretend like all is well. No way. Something is not right. Something is not right. And that's why we are calling on all well, you know, uh, well people to come out and say the truth and speak it out without fear or favor. We must all speak out and let them know we are aware of what is going on. And they cannot trample on our fundamental human rights. We have a duty to ensure that every one of us is well looked after. What is happening is... People want out, but this person's administration is saying, no, you cannot work out. We all have to stay together, whether you like it or not. And this is what has caused the division in the country. The position of the president, however, has even made it worse for Nigerians. Imagine the president of the Federal Republic not even attending the barrier of his own chief of staff, whom he appointed barely, I said barely, how many these days it's not up to six months you know and he did not deem it fit that he should go for that man's barrier in fact he pretended like all is well and the presidency released a statement saying eh, it's true the president could not attend but there is a reason the reason is that the presidency needs a 48 hours uh reminder or place to be able to put protocol in place and uh, the death happened all of a sudden so he did not have ample notice to be able to prepare and i'm asking who knows that is dying tomorrow and we're going to jump on a plane you see nigerians god will help us leave us a comment please don't forget to like us share subscribe click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news god bless you have a good day bye for now